Okay, welcome back. Here we are. This is Jeff, and I'm going to take you guys on a little journey. This house is available for lease today. It's huge, okay? There's like six bedrooms here. I do love the front windows. I can relate to them because I have them in my house. I absolutely, I love them, and I love the red colors. There's the garage door. There's an additional garage over there if you need it. And the reverse here of the community, just so you guys can see where the house is and what Eastvale is like. Very clean structure on the exterior. Very nice, love the roses. Let's go ahead and go inside. So right off the top here, I'm gonna show you the staircase, as you can see, cascading along the side of the structure. Very nice, and there's a the balcony. Where's Juliet or Romeo? And on top, oh, it's so far up there, yeah. Okay, crown molding throughout. And this is actually, this spot right here, it's a little weird, but it's actually the formal dining room. Right off the entrance, as you can see, we have, there's the door to the closet. Here's these beautiful glass windows. Let me show you those. Those are so nice. Oh my God, add this to your house. Give you guys so much uh, value in there. I can see there's a little something out there in the back here. I can see, let's go this way, okay? Before I move, let me just show you. So over there, is the formal living room okay go this way has the laundry room here has uh there's a door there there's no washer and dryer but it does have a sink which is necessary there's many ways to look at cabinets oh i didn't see that okay very nice cabinets moving along this way there's the other main garage and here is a small little powder room Okay, it just has your little basic sinks and you know, a nice color on the walls. Okay, moving along this way to the kitchen. Reverse real quickly of what we were, of where we were. There's entry. Kitchen. Granite top. Very nice. Love the color. New hood there. Actually, I've seen that hood in that. That's actually, that hood there's a high-end model. It's for extreme cooking. If you eat a lot of greasy food, then this is your friend. Anyhow, cooktop, huge backsplash in the back there. I'm very impressed that I've seen, I'm seeing people that when they do the granite, they go all the way up, which is just, that's awesome. Your island there, massive amount of cabinet space. Not a bad color. This is your family room. Let's go this way because uh, I want you to see everything, okay? Let me see what's back here. I didn't see earlier back here. Looks to me like a nice patio set. Should we see it? Okay, let's take it out. But here first, before we go there, here's the reverse. There's the kitchen. Nice fireplace. The fireplace it is a double so that you can see it from on the formal side. There is wiring. I want to show you that quickly here. Wiring for the... Uh, your surround sound, if you love surround sound, you're like, oh, I need my surround sound. And then your audio system, your TV, you go there. So here we are, this is, they apparently put a old school, uh, what do you call this? There you go, old school screen door there. But you know, sometimes it wouldn't be bad to have that. You know, if you'd like to have a lot of fresh air. So here we are in the back and I'm under this pergola, pergola, uh, I look at the yard. It's very nice and tranquil. Really green, lush, nice water fountain there. There's nobody behind you. I kind of like that. A lot of privacy here. And they went ahead and did two of these. It's absolutely a good idea, I think. Anyhow, okay, so there we go. That's the uh, the party yard. Let's go back inside. Moving along inside, giving you a good view. So this is a really huge, huge space here. A lot of windows, very nicely uh, taken care of. The paint, uh, I have to take some of the paint. Let's go ahead and check this out over here. So moving along, you have your formal. I'm gonna go in the fall. Okay, let's go in the fall. There's the fireplace I was talking about, which is a double. So technically, a really nice furniture or your guests that you would love to entertain. This is where you would entertain them, formally. With some champagne and caviar. 
Myself, I do not like caviar. It's disgusting, but some people love those fish eggs. Anyhow, I don't like that. Okay, the cap, the uh, closet, and there's no light in here, but you can see wonderful utilized space. Moving down the hall here, plenty of storage here for you. The light bulb doesn't work, my apologies. I can't turn the light on here. Here's the bathroom. Remember to count the bathrooms as we go through them. I'm gonna try to show them all too. There's a lot of them. Down here in the lower part of the house, which is on the east side, there are two bedrooms. They're not huge, but they are decent. So if you have little children or a guest or somebody who comes to spend the weekends, uh, if you're divorced and you need a place for your kids to stay, your other kids from your previous wife, LOL, that's a joke. <laughs> But it does happen, okay. Anyway, so there's a lot of rooms here. I've met quite a bit of clients that have really creative family situations. Open the light here. I do love the color of this room, this red, awesome color. Don't want to leave the windows open because the landlord won't like that. Hopefully you guys remember that I'm just an average, wonderful, caring, everyday realist and I don't fake anything, okay? Let's go upstairs. Okay, upstairs. And the, the flooring is actually wonderful that they did this. This is the best flooring that you could have, by the way, for uh, rental property. That way you don't have to worry about things getting destroyed or getting dirty. It also works out for people who have a lot of family members. When you go to clean the floor, it just makes it very easy. So would you like to see how it looks? Here's the reverse. Okay, found the room along there. Before we go there, let's go this way to the west side of the house. Okay, and this is amazing. Here we go. Would you prefer green or are you on the side of blue? Let's go this way. So, really good sized room here. This room belonged to Rita apparently at one time, as you can see there with the checkers. Night, this is a good room. If I was a kid, I would say, man, this is good for me because it's big, it's in the front of the house. Okay, let's go ahead and see. This is a Jack and Joe bathroom. Double sinks, wonderful. Very private VIP, so that no one else but these two people that use these rooms, Rita and Larry, would be able to access the room, bathroom. And uh, the blue room, not too bad. I wonder if this is what it's like in the White House when they talk about the blue room, the green room. I also believe there's a red room. Oh yeah, we already saw the red room, but that was just a bathroom. Okay, moving along. This house is very large. Nice, look at this, here we go. So people are frustrated and you're like, hey kids, why don't you go upstairs into the bonus room and take a break. This is a good bonus room. It's in the middle of the house. You know where your children are. They could be watching TV. I can see this room being very fun, very cuddly. Here's the front of the neighborhood. And here's the reverse. Eight minutes. I can't believe it. These videos are huge. They're long. I hope I can load them up. Okay, we might have a problem, but I'll figure it out. Master bedroom. Nice size. I actually love the niche the way that is. Now the house, it does need some touch up. There is some paint issues and I think that it would have to be addressed. Uh, generally what happens is the landlords, they do not want to do that. You have to kind of do it yourself, but isn't that the easiest thing to fix? It really is. Let's go into the master bathroom. So along here you have the water closet, which this one is massive, okay? Beautiful double doors over there for your closet, which is if you can imagine, you can see it's a big closet. Double sinks here, which is important for all happy lives. Go into the closet. Here we go. Very nice size. Let's get in there. Let's get in here. So quickly make a reverse. I don't want to make you guys irritated. Okay, here we go. We're hitting 10 minutes now. <laughs> that just goes to tell you. Huge tub there, decent sized shower, 
Fortunately, the tub doesn't have the uh, jets in it, which a lot of people like. Okay, 951-768-2428, Jeffrey Durand, your Tarbell Realtor. Here in Eastvale, showing you guys some beautiful properties. Here's another restroom. Have you counted them? Hmm? There's a lot of them. Here's a reverse. And now we're over 10 minutes. Oh, it's like going over the budget. <laughs> really far. Okay, last bedroom. So this room sits by itself on the east side of the house on the second floor alone. And it's very private. So if your kid, you got that one kid who doesn't like nobody, stick him in here. He'll be happy, little troll. I hope that wasn't rude to say. Kids are wonderful, don't get me wrong, I like them. But sometimes you want that child that doesn't want to be bothered with anybody who wants to be away. That would be a good spot for them. 951-768-2428, Jeffrey Durand, your Tarbell Realtor. Just being a little bit more real today, I hope that I didn't offend anybody and nothing was said to be hurtful. Everything's always loving and fun. We are all happy people. We all have problems. We all want the same thing. Come live in Eastvale. Everyone here is regular. Uh, not saying that anywhere else is not, but if you're looking for a wonderful few, uh, community where you have a family, if you don't have a family, if you're single, if you're married, if you're straight, if you're gay, it doesn't matter. Eastdale welcomes you. Okay guys, thank you for watching and I appreciate everything that you guys do for me. Take care.